bringing in new approval procedures for food products at the end of September. The move is in line with the Supreme Court's decision to take away its product approval pass after the Maggie noodles case. After the criticism following its recent ban on a variety of products, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India is unveiling new product approval procedures. It has issued a public notice seeking applications from lawyers and legal firms before 7th of September. This was after the Supreme Court held that the food regulator had no power to make product approvals. They have issued an order only a few days back, the product approval is held. But what about this, this product which are not standardized? Because if somebody wants to apply for license for manufacture or for uh, marketing or for import, at present FSA is not clearing. I think FSA will come out with some decision soon so that industry does not suffer. Under the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006, the FSSAI is a nodal agency to regulate the food processing sector, which means no person can manufacture, distribute, sell or import any novel food, genetically modified articles of food, irradiated food, organic foods, food for special dietary uses without approval. But with 350 product approvals pending, the FSSAI is now in a limbo. The food processing industry is left in confusion. Unless the act is amended, they cannot approve uh, new products. But they have to come clearly with, there are several implications of this order. One implication of the order is what happens to product approvals that have already been approved. What happens to the people who have paid for the product approval? We are taking crores of rupees here, all right? What happens to that because that process has been called illegal? That is not, there is no clarity there. The FSSAI scrapped existing approval process on 27th of August after the Supreme Court upheld the Bombay High Court, which was hearing the Maggie Noodles case, decided to cancel its product approval powers. Raj Kamal Rao's report for Rajasabha TV. Well, it's time now for a short break, but still.